Okay, put your hand up if you've ever had crack. Burgers. Yeah, I got you there. Wait to see this. According to Michael Hensley, these have to be made because they are so addictive. We'll be the judge of that. The only bad part about this is that Michael didn't get it in on Viewer Recipe Month, but it still intrigued us enough that we're going to make it. I'm not going to send him a knife, though. Call me a dick. We make other people's recipes. Wait, we're still sending knives to people, so we, we could. Why not? All right, you get a knife. <laughs> Completely forgot. Max is right. Every video this year, we're giving away a knife. So Michael Hensley will get one for that. It worked out perfect. Why didn't I think of that? It's because I'm stupid and I've done crack. It's a whole nother story, a whole nother time. We won't talk about that. I'm kidding. We won't talk about it right now. It's pretty simple. He claims prep time, five minutes. Cooking time, seven minutes. That would give you a total time of 12 minutes. I like the sound of this. But rather than tell you what goes into it, I'm going to show you. Here we go. First in, and I find this interesting, three tablespoons of sour cream. Well, certainly gonna make it moist. Oh, we can't say moist anymore. God, why? There's no rule. No, people hate it. Can't say <laughs> Then the next ingredient, also interesting, ranch seasoning. Ranch dressing powder. Ranch seasoning powder. Ranch dressing, the driver. That's the, the ranch in the packet. Half a cup of cooked and crumbled bacon. Save a little for Max. The ranch seasoning, by the way, that you put on their tater tots and hamburgers, don't you? Yes. Next in, a cup of shredded cheddar. And we use white cheddar. Why, Chance? Because that's what the dude said. No, he didn't. He just said shredded cheddar. Oh, we oh. use white cheddar because cows don't give orange milk. We're not buying into that bull. And that's it. What Michael Hensley did not add was any salt and pepper, and I'm going to. And yeah, the seasoning's going to be a little salty, but you still need that. And this we will mix, and I will use gloves because, well, you kind of have to. Oh, it's going to be messy. Just do a good job. Now, I'll just say as I'm mixing, Michael says makes four. I hope it's not a mistake, Michael, but I'm going to make three. I prefer a third pounder to a quarter pounder, unless I'm smashing. If I'm smashing, then it'll probably be quarters, and then I'll do two of them so you get a half. I'm doing math right now, but listen. Just know you can make three uh -oh. or four. What, doing math? You're doing math. I know. It's not good. I'm not good at math. I'm not good at accounting. I'm sure you've heard me say it before. I didn't quite graduate from college because I'm missing an accounting credit from Mr. Clough's accounting class. F***ing Mr. Clough? F***ing Mr. Clough. He was so boring. All right, do I have these even? No. I could weigh these. Maybe that's a smart thing. Those look even? Yeah, this looks pretty good. All right, we're shaping into three beautiful patties, make them look nice, put them on some parchment, and we move on. Let me clean my hands, get rid of the bowl. We're ready to cook. And it's time. So we'll oil up the flat top, spread it around, and on we go. One, two, and three. I like to give the little love tap. That one's a little bigger. That guy, and now because they're thick, we're gonna not cook at too high a temp and just let them cook away. I could have done it on the barbecue, but I was worried they might be pretty soft and, you know, trying to get them off the grates and stuff. Michael's words were, grill the patties to your desired doneness, being careful as they'll be very Flip them carefully to avoid breaking. So I will, but that's also why I wanted to use the flat top. So now we're just, well, frankly, we're just watching burgers cook. The sour cream has made them an odd looking color, hasn't it? But I imagine that the weird look will be more than made up for by the taste. Don't forget, yes, bacon, but the sour cream and the ranch dressing. Oh, cheese too, shit. I wonder what it's doing. Let's have a look at one. Oh, nice char, I'll tell you what. Yeah, see? You have to be careful. Let's give them all a flip. Great. And while they're cooking away, I'm just going to throw a lid on them just to help them steam inside a little bit, cook a little faster. All will be well. All right, let's pull the lid, revel in the beauty, and get a temp. Uh, we'll go to this guy right here. Nope. We're at 85 degrees. Not there yet. They smell really good. At the risk of ruining them, I think I want to flip them again. Just to help, uh oh, look at, that's the problem. Oh God, but wait, can I have this little bite? Mm. Yeah, these are gonna be good. I started to say, try and cook them like a steak. You know I like to flip a steak. These are thick, so there's no reason I can't, but I do have to be careful. All right, keep cooking. All right, we're there, let's take them off and build.
All right, we're gonna make a little sauce, and that's gonna be a combo of mayo and some grainy mustard. Love this stuff. And some chili sauce, the Western kind, not the Asian kind. And this we will mix. And by the way, Michael said ketchup and mustard, which aren't my favorites plain, so we did this. And a little salt and pepper. All right, let's build this. All right, perfect toasted bun. Ladies and gentlemen, if you don't toast your buns, you're a fool. All right, here's our sauce. I like this chili sauce because like there's chunks of, you know, little bits of tomato and onion and stuff in it. Tiny bit more. Now, uncharacteristically me, I'm gonna go with a little lettuce and tomato. He did suggest it, but I'm not doing it because he suggested it. I'm doing it because they think it'll look plain without it. And I want a little beautifulness like this. I'll adjust that, Max. I'll make the picture pretty, I promise. Remember, tomatoes love to be seasoned. Love it, so don't forget that. And now, we get a beautiful looking patty. On it goes. And the final crowning lid. See, it did need the lettuce and tomato. It would have been really plain without it. And I think I'm gonna like a little cool bite in there. Well, let's find out if this is truly crack or not. It's a nice looking burger. Nothing fancy about it, but really, let's remember, it's what's inside this one that counts. I see bacon, see little little bits of uh, melty cheese. I just gleek, that's always a good sign. Definitely needed the sauce. It's a good burger. I don't think it's crack. Would I make it again? I think I might. But crack to me implies you just can't stop. You just gotta have more. Crawling around on the floor at the end of the night looking for little pieces that might have fallen out of the pipe. Wait, did I say that out loud? I meant just something that's craveable. It's good, thank you, Michael. I appreciate you sending this in and you will get a knife because we're giving away a knife every single video this year, which is 2024, if that's when you're watching. I'm actually gonna have another bite. It is very good. Hey, subscribe to us. It means so little to you and so much to all the three of us. So since the segment ended, we've all been eating. I'm reconsidering my opinion. I think it's much more interesting than I led you to believe. It's a damn fine burger. Yeah.